belated new year! <laughs> Although 2021 might have started about a month ago, we've decided we're hitting reboot. It's been a little bit of a funky start to a new year, but you know what? We're not going to let that stop us from continuing the celebration and maybe having a start number two to the year. Party on, Garth. Party on, Wayne. We've decided we're going to celebrate multiple New Year's. Is New Year's is? Basically, we're going to take everybody's New Year and mixing it into one because, you know, we all need that extra boost, extra fresh start, and extra something. And if you're wondering what day we have decided is this new year, we haven't determined yet. We'll let you know in 2022 when 2021 really started. What we have decided to do is pick different foods from different cultures throughout the world that are eaten on New Year's. And we're gonna guess what the significance of these foods are. So some I have a feeling we'll be able to guess, but some I have a feeling we will have no idea about. So let's get started on our first food. That is 12 grapes from Spain. So I think that we can both guess this one. I assume that the 12 grapes are for 12 months of prosperity, fruitfulness. Uh -huh. What do you think? I was going to say 12 grapes representing 12 months. A grape is a circle, so maybe that means everything coming full circle, being sweet, being juicy. Mm. I love grapes, so I'm happy to indulge in this tradition. Mmm, that is what I call a perfect grape. Crispy and juicy. A grape is a perfect snack because it's a drink and snack. Hey! <laughs> a nerd alert! <laughs> Food number two. Herring from Poland. If you don't know what herring is, it's a sort of a fish that's cut into little <laughs> squares or rectangles and it's pickled. And some people eat it with sour cream, some people eat it with vinegar, you can eat it on toast, you can eat it with eggs, and you can even eat it by itself. Now to the faint of heart, herring might seem like a little bit of an ew. Ew, David. But we can't lie, we love it. It's so good. I feel like it's categorized with like sardines and anchovies. It's like a word you throw out there. Anchovies, and you're like waiting for the response and if someone's like, ew, who eats anchovies? Ew! You're like, ew, yum, yeah. who eats them? But if someone's like, yum, anchovies, you're like, I know they're the best, I added to my pizza too. And in the wise words of many scholars, don't yuck my yum. And then I what do we think is the significance of herring? My guess would be that fish are supposed to be smart and wise, so if you eat them, you're gaining wisdom. Fish are friends, not food. I could honestly tell you I have no idea what the significance <laughs> of it is, and I couldn't guess what it is either. So we'll go with Alana's answer. Fact check. Because herring is in abundance in Poland and parts of Scandinavia, and because of their silver coloring, many in those nations eat pickled herring at the stroke of midnight to bring a year of prosperity and bounty. Okay, so I got that completely wrong, but you know what, it was a guess. <laughs> now let's dig into the herring. Cheers. Mm, so good. Dish number three is rice pudding with one hidden almond for Norway and Sweden. So I can guess what the almond is for, but I cannot guess what the rice pudding is for. I'm assuming the person that finds the almond is lucky and will have a good year. I don't know why it is an almond. I think it's because almonds are really expensive, so finding the almond is good luck, and some people think of an almond as a treat. I mean, unless it's chocolate covered, don't count me as one of those people. But I hear that people in the world do think such things. And and maybe the rice pudding because it's just a delicious treat that it's impossible not to enjoy. Okay, now fact check. People in Sweden and Norway traditionally ring in the new year with a large helping of rice pudding, a sweet milky dessert dish customarily served with cinnamon and it is said to bring progress and prosperity. So there's no information that we didn't know, but I'm ready to start eating it. So we'll take that as a, this is bringing us progress and prosperity. We didn't want to rat the other person out. So we put in two almonds because we both want the good luck, okay? <laughs> Yum! Mmm, people that don't like rice pudding, I don't get. That is a sweet, silky, milky dessert dish. And let me tell you something, I feel luckier after eating that. So it's already working, it's magic. Dish number four, pomegranates from Turkey. I'm guessing that the pomegranates represent fertility because I know that generally they do. So I'm guessing it's fertility, not just in the baby sense, but fertility <laughs> in the success sense. Okay, I'll back you on that. That seems like a legitimate guess. Ooh, thank so you. let's fact check. 
And turkey pomegranates have several symbolic meanings for the new year, including denoting life, fertility, health, and prosperity, according to Mother Nature Network. Thank you, Mother Nature Network. Pomegranates are also really high in antioxidants, so there's that for you. Ready to dig in. Mmm, tart. Definitely feel healthier now. I feel antioxidized. Last, but certainly not least, if we would like me to take the reins on the French accent today. Had a, <laughs> as some might say, croissant. <laughs> a chocolate croissant. <laughs> Dish number five is the galette de bois. This is a delicious and delicate pastry from France that is made up of choux pastry on the outside and a creamy custardy inside. Mm -hmm. And don't be turned off by the ceramic sculpture of a baby that is hidden inside the cake that you might get in one of your bites because that's the good luck part. Many cultures throughout the world have different versions of this creme cake, but we picked this one because we happen to love it. There are a few things that are more enjoyable to bring in a new year than a slice of a delicious French pastry, so why don't we get started? But before we dig in, we have to guess why there's that ceramic of a baby. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea why there is a bibbit in there, but I can guess that if you get the little bebe, you're lucky because there's a whole cake and you're the one that got it, so <laughs> you're special. Because of the bebe. From an outsider, it seems a little bit funky to put a ceramic sculpture into a cake. It seems like a choking hazard. It also seems a little bit weird. A little bit. But who are we to judge? We're still gonna eat the entire cake. Yes, but we will eat it with our eyes open in case you were worried. You can wear the crown and lie slice. It looks like neither of us are gonna be lucky this year because neither of us received the bebe, but I'm excited to try it. Mmm, that is so good. And I believe that it's more of like an almond filling than a pastry cream, which I much prefer. It's like a big croissant. This is an amazing one. Happy New Year! Yay! I'm happy to have a sampling of every single one of these for each new year that we decide we're going to restart. I definitely feel the exact same way. And I don't know how I think I'm being serious saying that while I'm still wearing <laughs> this crown. Know that all of these are very nice. I think it's time for a little palate cleanser. Thanks for celebrating every single new year with us and we hope you enjoy it. If you have any special customs in your culture that we would like to know about and include in our new year celebration for next year, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you count your birthday as your new year, honestly, I stand by that. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more of us. Are you following us on Instagram at Alana Exaliza? And if you're not, you should. We upload new videos every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell.